I just want to show you guys how you can take off the vinyl without using those harsh chemicals. All right, y'all, what's up? I'm back with another video. This is your girl, Wendy, and this is Journey with Wendy. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing to your girl and, you know, watch your couple, two, three videos and see what your girl is about. You know what I'm saying? If you have been here from day one or if you have subscribed, you know, thank you so much for your patronage of my channel, you know, trying to do this thing in Jesus' name, you know what I'm saying? Because only what you do for Christ will last so today i'm going to be showing you guys okay are you ready for it because i don't think you ready so you know i was he pressing some shirts last night and um some of them weren't some of them ain't come out right and so um i don't know if you can see but like mm, if i can get it right you can see it so like the f doesn't look like the rest of these and then the ampersand sign ampersand sign don't look like the rest of these and so um i wanted to keep it on there on the h as well part of the h so i wanted to keep it on here you know what i'm saying and um you know i was just gonna be like oh i'm gonna just do it like that then i was like i'm not gonna do it like that um you know because people deserve great merchandise so right what i have here is just my regular home iron and i have it set to um linen so i have it up as high as it can go and so right now all i'm doing is um just sitting it on here and i have a sharp object i have my skizzles and so they say that the heat, that's what they say. We'll see. They say that the heat from the iron, and if you just be patient and diligent with working on taking it off, that it will remove the um, vinyl. So I'm showing you guys today how to remove vinyl off of um, t-shirts without using removing vinyl off of t-shirts without using um, those harsh um, chemicals and so you know you, you do have to be patient and you also have to be careful because the iron is at the hottest setting that it has and so can you you can't see that so I have to bring you closer so you can see. So here is some of the residue from the, um, what's that thing called? From the vinyl. Actually taking it off. I had to do it this way then. Yeah. And so you still want to be careful because um, it has uh, more, because it's hot. The iron is super hot. I did it the wrong way again. If I can get my skizzles right. And so you don't want to use your regular heat press if you have one. You don't want to use that. You just want to use your iron on the hottest setting that you that you can get it. And I do not have any water. Um, there's no water in the iron at all. I don't mind if um, some of the... Uh, I don't mind that the letters are showing still. Um, I don't mind that. I just don't want the vinyl on there, if that makes sense because it looks tacky. And then when the person goes to wash this shirt, then they'll, um, you know, they could run the risk of it, um, um, the vinyl lifting. So you don't wanna have that 
And, and then, you know, you get a bad name because people are like, oh, you know, their products, so on and so forth. So if you just use this handy dandy trick, um, the first place that I saw this, um, well, the only place that I saw this this in this way was on um, cutting up, oh, cutting up something. Uh, they're from, it's a company out of Texas and they're on YouTube. And so they were, um, you know, that's what they were doing when I was scouring it last night. Cause basically everybody else I saw, there are other ways to, to do this. You could do it with acetone. You could do it with um, like the actual remover, um, actual remover. You don't know what I'm talking about. You could do it with nail polish remover. You could do it with, um, uh, not nail polish remover, with um, acetone. You could do it with, um, it's some special vinyl remover that's like 20 bucks or something like that, but it's hard to find. You could do it with that, or you could do it this way. And it's not taking me no time to do this at all. If you position your, um, if you position it, your iron, if you position the shirt right on the iron, then um, it'll take you no time at all. And I'm just, I'm not gonna speed this video up at all. This is real time. Well, it'll be real time. It's real time right now, okay? It's real time right now. Okay, and so, um, but if you um, are trying to get off the, um, what's that stuff called? This, uh, the glue, then you might want to, you know, look into using some 100% acetone, or you can use the nail polish remover that has the acetone. Um, I saw a lady, she used that yesterday, and she was able to get all of that off of her shirt with no issue. And so just want to show you guys like a eco way on how to get this, um, how to get the vinyl off. And like I said, for me, as for me in my house, I don't mind that the, um, that is still there. Um, I might repress it. Um, so this is what it looks like with it off. So you can still see part of it. Um, and I do know what I did wrong. Um, yeah, so I don't mind that it's showing. I might go uh, back in there. Um, I might go back and re, um, I might go back in there and uh, heat it up again using the iron. That's why I haven't taken the iron off. And so um, just being diligent with uh, taking the glue off and, um, using the same method because if I, because that'll help that take that glue off. So this has been Journey with Wendy. I'm Wendy. And I just want to show you guys how you can take off the vinyl without using those harsh and chemicals, possibly, possibly potentially damaging a shirt. So with that, new videos are posted every Tuesday and Thursday, sometimes on Wednesday, depending on what's happening. And with that, you know what that means? I'm out. All right, so I'm gonna just show y'all uh, my weeding process again. Um, and this is the same shirt that I just took the, uh, da, 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 that I just took that um, uh, messed up vinyl off of. So.
All right, so this is what it looks like. Y'all hold that thought. I gotta go get my oven. All right, so now I'm gonna bring the shirt out and I'm gonna actually press it for a couple of seconds. And now I'm gonna just place it exactly right over where the other where the other part of it is at. And so while this is uh because I had to change the settings because I had it up high because I was doing something else. So all right. So now it is where it's supposed to be at. So I'm gonna just go ahead and press it for the entire time that it's supposed to be pressed. It's supposed to be medium firm pressure. Let's hope this works. All right. So it's a hot or cold peel. Oh, it didn't do it. Womp womp. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna take this part off. I'm gonna cut this off. I don't know guys. I have absolutely no clue. I don't know. I thought I knew what I did wrong. I don't know. Look like I'll be going back to the iron to take this off too. So with that, I'm out.